Now, Sir Peter Blake is one of Britain's most famous artists. He's created a new piece of art to mark his 80th birthday. Born in Dartford in Kent, Sir Peter studied at Gravesend School of Art and in 2002 he was given a knighthood for his services to art. Well, earlier this year he unveiled his newly designed Brit Award and one of his most famous works, of course, is the cover for the Beatles Sgt Pepper album. And to celebrate his birthday, the artist has updated that image. And Charlie Rose has been to meet him. Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band is one of the most recognisable album covers of all time. Now, more than four decades later, its creator, Sir Peter Blake, has given it a revamp. I've been involved with the Vintage Festival for the last, it's been going three years, Wayne, Rem, Wayne Hemingway runs it, and it occurred to him this year that I, I would be 80 and that Sergeant Pepper would be 45. So he wanted to combine a, a kind of tribute of, of me remaking the Sergeant Pepper image. Day in, day out, at 80 years old, he's practicing and coming up with new stuff and uh, a fantastic example to us all. That Grammy award-winning image contained a host of famous faces, from comedy Laurel and Hardy, Diana Dawes from the world of film, and writer Edgar Allan Poe. But the remake is more of a personal project, featuring friends and other people he admires, including fellow artist Tracy Emin, guitar legend Eric Clapton, and musician Noel Gallagher. To be on there with Vivian Westwood and Mick Jagger and Paul Weller, just for three people alone is amazing for me, do you know what I mean? Because I wouldn't put myself up there with any of those. Well, this is Sir Peter Blake's latest collection. He is, of course, famous for his collage work, but his most well-known piece will always be that Beatles album cover. Did you know at the time that you were creating such a cultural emblem? I don't think you do when, you, when you're doing it, no. Um, you, 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 you're doing a job, you know, you're, you're, for a fortnight you're working very hard, you're trying to solve problems. You, you, I certainly couldn't have known that 45 years later we'd still be sitting here talking about it. He also couldn't have known that Dartford, the town where he grew up, would become a hotbed of cultural activity. Mick Jagger lived about 50 yards away, just round the corner, and Keith, Keith Richard lived over the shops opposite the butcher's shop where I did a Saturday job. Two more in a long list of people Sir Peter admires. There'll need to be another remake to fit them all in. Charlie Rose, BBC Southeast Today at the Royal Academy in London.